busy week. Uh, as I said last week when I was up here, and we went 3-1 and one on the week. And just has to first say, I've already talked about the Northern Illinois match um, for the media, but I just want to say it was just so awesome to be at home. Uh, it was a great crowd, so uh, that made it even more special. It was just the unfortunate thing is it was a real teaser for our team because we just, you know, we know we miss home, but when you're actually at home and had the opportunity to have such a great crowd, it made us realize just how much we miss being at home. So thank you for all those that came out to support us. Um, we headed to Bradley on the weekend uh, to play our first conference match of the season against Bradley, and then uh, that was in conjunction with the tournament that they held. Uh, Friday night we had Bradley, and I felt uh, really good about that match. Bradley is a much improved team over last year, um, and I thought we did some really good things in that Bradley match. I think, um, again, it's just more of the consistency. Uh, we did had some moments where we maybe didn't do things as well as we needed to, but uh, overall we did a lot of great things. The one performance I'd like to point out, uh, I know I've talked several times about not um, being solidified with our right side hitter position, and we're still um, you know, trying out different things, but I thought uh, Macy Eubin had a great weekend for us in that position. Uh, Bradley obviously did their scouting report well, and we're not paying much attention to that position for us. Uh, we're focusing more on some of our other kids. Uh, and Macy Eubin did a nice job of stepping up and being somebody that they had to change their game plan for. So very proud of her effort, and she just continued that into the other two matches on the weekend uh, and had a great performance for us. So uh, very happy to see that. Uh, we had Arkansas State at 1 o'clock the next day, and um, that was a tough one uh, in a lot of ways for me. Uh, Arkansas State is a great team. I give them a lot of credit. Uh, they came into that match and definitely uh, played with a lot of fight, uh, nothing to lose attitude, and just attacked us. Uh, we definitely got back on our heels at the start of that match. And the unfortunate thing is, you know, we noticed a lot of things in warm up, just not um, as focused, not as um, into it, uh, definitely very flat in warm up. And, you know, you try some things as a coach to try to get out of that. But, you know, we take responsibility for not being able to get our kids out of that kind of mode. And uh, whatever the reason may be, you know, whether they're mentally, physically tired, um, just not into it for whatever reason, we absolutely cannot have that. It's not acceptable for us as coaches, and it really isn't as a team. And unfortunately, I think we learned the hard way um, why we have to be prepared for every single match. And uh, it was an unfortunate loss in my mind because I think it's a team that we definitely um, could have performed better against. But again, they played really well. Um, they did had a nice match against Long Beach State the nice night before as well. Uh, but definitely one that we, we felt uh, was just uncomfortable from start to finish. It's a, a horrible way to play a match. Uh, even the game that we won, uh, we won pretty handedly. But also, as coaches, even in that game, um, we didn't really feel like we were doing anything. It was more Arkansas State making mistakes as opposed to us really doing anything. So we had very few hours um, to turn around and be able to be prepared for Long Beach State. And Long Beach State is a typical, um, very strong uh, West Coast team, uh, very physical, very athletic. Uh, earlier in the season, they have lost some matches because uh, Early the first weekend, they lost their two middles uh, in the same weekend, uh, which would be obviously devastating for any program, a team that has had a lot of high hopes for this season. They were able to get one of their middles back, uh, so a very good Long Beach State team that we were going up against. Uh, and I couldn't be happier with the way our kids turned their performance around. Uh, definitely had that fighting attitude that, you know, as Panthers, that's what we're about. You know, we're going to win matches and compete because we get in there and fight hard and execute our game plan and our kids did a nice job of being able to turn that around so it's unfortunate that we had to turn something around like that but uh, on the very positive side of things our kids were able to do that and uh, win that match to win the tournament so very proud of them for that um, as colin said megan lehman uh, all tournament team she had a great weekend for us uh, in terms of actually her blocking was probably the highlight in my mind that is the one skill we've been uh, working on in practice when we've had some time, so it was great to see her uh, execute on that side. Shelby Kinsel also 14 blocks in the Long Beach State match, which is huge. Uh, that's a very high number. Uh, she was also able to do some other things blocking for us, so very happy with her. And then Candace Burke, um, all-tournament team uh, MVP, just was the most consistent um, kid for us this weekend in terms of what she did for us defensively, digging, uh, also her serving uh, really got us out of some situations, and she also executed well on passing. So very proud. I think all of our kids had moments of being 
uh, really strong. It's just being able to consistently do that, uh, everyone at the same time. Uh, this week we head into our second round of conference play and uh, we have Illinois State and Indiana State again on the road, um, but uh, we're excited to be in kind of a normal week as, in terms of only having you prepare to prepare for two teams this week, which will be really nice. Uh, we will spend the first part of this week a little bit. We're going to rest a little bit more today. Our kids uh, definitely need it. Uh, and then we're going to focus the first part of this week on our side of the net and doing some things that we've wanted um, to get in there and practice. And then obviously the last part of the week we'll focus on Indiana State and Illinois State. Uh, we always uh, have great matches with those two teams on the road. Uh, we don't know exactly. We have a lot of information obviously from last year. But uh, Illinois State has had a great uh, preseason. They, um, they beat Miami, Florida, um, who is getting votes for the top 25. They went five games with Oregon State, who's getting votes for the top 25. So a very solid Illinois State team. Uh, Indiana State uh, lost their best player um, the first set of the first match this season. And I'm not sure when she'll be back, or uh, she will be back at some point, but not sure if it'll be this weekend. But they're 2-10, and ten, uh, but it's very misleading because six of those matches that they have lost have gone five games. Um, so they're just right on the edge of, of winning those matches. We know the fifth game can go uh, any direction. So two teams we're definitely going to have to be prepared for, and we're looking forward to sitting down and, and being able to focus on our conference season. So uh, excited for that, and um, then we'll be home the week after that, and we're really excited for that. So um, any questions? Are you somewhere close to where you envisioned you'd be after this tough start to the season with all these road matches? Um, yeah, you know, it's hard because you schedule a lot of matches that you feel can go either way. Uh, and I think, you know, the hard part for us is I think we, we haven't won that big match yet. Excuse me, the fly up here. Um, that some of those matches that we scheduled, um, you know, you'd like to get one of those wins um, or two of those wins or all of them. But uh, we, we haven't really gotten in my mind that big win. I think we've, we've beaten teams uh, that we should and, you know, we've battled against teams that we knew we'd battle against. So um, as far as win-loss, maybe not. But I think, you know, the biggest thing for us is to be able to be at our best by the end of the season when that conference tournament time is there and I definitely like um, the improvement that we've seen every day, especially with the lack of practice that we've been able to get. With Candace, it seems like she's coming along right now. She is. She's, she was really great this weekend and you know she really took that Arkansas State match um, pretty personally and it was great to see her response. You know she was just the Long Beach State back sh match, she was amazing. You know just really took control of that backcourt and you know we have two kids in my mind, Candace and Amy, that really can take control back there. Uh, she really stepped it up. Our passing against Long Beach um, was second to none for us this year. And basically, it was Amy and um, Candace taking much of that role. So I'm uh, very glad to see that. And her serving, again, was great, too. So it's good to see you know, her really stepping up uh, when we need her to. How nice is it now basically just two matches a week the rest of the way to try to get a consistent practice regimen going and make sure the players are well prepared for each match and then also fresh for each coming week? Well, it'll be huge for us, you know, and I say get back into a normal routine, but it really isn't normal for us because we haven't done that yet. But, you know, being able to get into what will be uh, a normal routine for the biggest part of our season. And I just think, you know, being able to, you know, we, we have talked so much about things that we need to be better at and, and trying to do those things in matches is extremely hard. So getting a chance to get in the gym, getting a chance to see more film on ourselves as opposed to the team that we're um, competing against, I think will be, be really helpful for a lot of our kids. All right, thank you.